Okay, now it's time to remove the crankshaft. So we remove the camshaft, the lifters, um, the push rods. Now it's time to remove. So now you have to rotate it. So um, rotate the engine on the engine stand. Rotate it all the way so that way you can see the bottom part. So nothing should fall off right now. There you go. So now you, you should see, you should have access to the bolts. So in fact, you could rotate it all the way. Hold on one second. Let me do this. There we go. That's the cool thing about an engine stand that, you know, these are the bolts. So this is the oil pan. Just remove the bolts one by one. Yeah, look, you go. Mm-hmm. No se pierdan. Estos están enteros, eh. No falta ninguno. Oh, and these are big also. These are big. So these are small, but the ones in the the ones on the edge, they're big. So make sure not to lose track of them. Ah. There we go, right? And so once you do that, then you can remove the oil pan. So now we're gonna remove the oil pan. So it should be easy, straightforward. Ta-da! Now, we're probably gonna notice that it's missing the gasket, of course, because again, we we're gonna do this video, so this video is not about how to remove it using the torque, but it's just a how-to video, so. um. Let me see. So I'm gonna put these back where they're from, but I'm not gonna make them put the video, but this is where it starts getting very interesting and very important. And you really have to know what you're doing. Um, here's where, again, um, if someone's nearby, you know, shoo them away, honestly, because, you know, this is very specific, very, be careful. If not, you can ruin the engine and the engine's not gonna be good. Okay, thank you. But, oh, and also the seal, the rear engine seal, I know it's missing. Um, yeah, but still the oil. Hopefully there's not too much background noise that's interrupting, but now we're gonna remove now it's the real most of, one of the most important parts that you yourself are gonna do. Like I said before, for the most part the heads on um, the machine shop does it for you. This you I mean this is this is the fun part, right? So first we're gonna remove every single piss and, and just like everything, there's what's called you have to keep them in order. Don't mix and match where the pistons go, especially the rods this rod forever will be going to this um craft shaft journal crank shaft journal main journal no rod journal so you can never put this piston slash connecting rod on this side and vice versa these go on this side and to add that to this this goes on this particular order you can't flip it so you're gonna see more in terms of the dissection of the piston but let's check it out so to remove the piston you need to remove these bolts right here these nuts i'm sorry these nuts um, I'm talking the left. By the way, don't use the don't use the connecting rod. All right, okay. All right. And then hopefully it should be. Right. <sighs> Sorry about the background. Neighbors. One second. There we go. Thank you. Then you was coming. No. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now this cap, that would be, that's going to be tricky. It's not going to want to come off, especially after years. They're actually really tied down there <laughs> unless you're lucky yeah so you're gonna have, you have to give it like a small little soft hammer and hammer it out but just be careful how you hammer it don't hammer it like this hammer it to the side but this does go out so yeah i'd like to show that on video but that's gonna be a little bit tricky so anyways um yeah let me remove it and then we'll go back to you so but you can watch any video on youtube in terms of how to remove the rod so this is the connecting rod. Um, yeah, so one second, bye. Okay, so 
Remove. We remove the nuts. This is a rod bearing. Um, this is the cap. Um, there's actually a bearing inside here. So I don't believe it. most of us are familiar with bearings where you have little balls. Um, this is not the case. This is a different type of bearing, but the principle is still the same. Um, this is called tang. So one thing that you want to do is you would like to inspect the bearing, make sure that it's all right, that it's not too scratched up, that it's good. So whenever you're going to do an overhaul, regardless, you're going to replace this. This definitely will be replaced. Um, so to remove this, so let me see. Yeah. So to remove this, you remove these nuts and then you hammer it on the side. The reason why you hammer it on the side and not on the top is if you hammer it on the side, like on this right, you're actually rotating the crankshaft. So you're not really doing that much harm. And try to use a soft hammer. Don't use a hard hammer, otherwise you might scratch it. So, um, yeah, so um, hit it on the side. Don't hit it right here to remove the bearing, even though I don't know why you would want to hit it here. So everything's with care. So here, so again, remove the cap inspect the bearing make sure it's good still put it on the side but remember this one goes here so don't and don't rotate it like this you know so the reason why you know is this tang should match up with this tang you're gonna notice this is this little thing right here bevel or whatever you want to call it it's a tang look at the mosquito look at the mosquito anyways um so this tang this one has it on this side you don't want to put it like this you, know, you always want to make sure you match it up and again this piston forever so this connecting rod forever and wherever it's going to go to this journal this bearing journal this con this rod bearing rod journal this is called a rod journal and also inspect it you know inspect it that it's still good but honestly honestly in my um, you really don't mess too much with this unless you have a spun bearing but if you have a good overhaul where the engine is good and there's no spun bearing you really don't have to touch this that much especially the main these bearings over here so just thought i would mention that anyways so once you remove this you make sure to keep track of where the nuts go it's a good idea not necessary but just gonna put it right here no wait wait wait, wait. i'm supposed to be careful so well now you get to press in so hopefully you'll have luck and then if it's a good motor which hopefully it is you're not going to have any issues with moving the piston so but of course this is the exception in fact if you notice i'm already getting it out so, just want to make sure that the piston don't fall so let's be careful on that end I don't want to scratch the wall. Ah. Afterwards, you want to uh, 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 make sure that even though this is going to be replaced, so for sure, for sure, you're going to replace this guy. Um, everything else might not re be replaced, but for sure, you're going to replace this, especially in an overhaul. So, again, um, the first thing you're going to do, aside from inspecting it, what I would do, it depends on everyone, right? And so, what I would do is I would make sure that you match it up. Ham, right away right away so you don't mix them up so there we go and this should be good so there we go so this you're gonna take to the machine shop now here you have the three rings um Right now I'm gonna skip one is the compression ring the bottom one is the oil ring and this is like the secondary compression ring but um let me see yeah so let's let's just keep on working on in terms of removing the pistons and the crankshaft because that's what we're gonna have to take to the machine shop so I so now we're actually gonna record how you do it so again the rods on the top
Let's see if we can make something else. This is how I remove it, right? And so, as you can tell, it's tiny. So this is what I do. behind the scenes in terms of how this guy goes out so that it has to go in straight up otherwise it won't go out it has a hazy fit die don't fall okay. so, now you saw how you remove it so again inspect it but you're not inspecting it just to reuse it you're inspecting it just to make sure that um you're gonna use the other battery, so you're gonna replace this guy. Maybe you only size it. Again, you're supposed to put something so you don't scratch the journal, but. There we go. So, make sure you put it tang with tang. The pistons you might reuse, that depends whether you need to bore it bigger or small or not. Smaller, obviously not. Smaller. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a... This a... Is this a... Is this a... Mm-hmm. You said everybody has their methods, but I have mine. So of course I'm gonna remove them. the oil pump. Because here's where you're gonna struggle. Just be careful with this. Don't hammer, don't hammer it like that. Hammer it like this. But oh wow, this is, oh cool. Oh perfect. 
So again, you're gonna inspect it. Bare minimum, you're gonna remove these bearings. Minimum. I'm gonna take it off right now, but it's gonna be blocked. But yeah, these come off. These definitely come off. You know? So there you can see. You have to inspect it, put it on the side. And of course, remove the piston. Don't scratch the journal. Look at that. That's the way out of the make sure to put it. Dang it. That's gonna hurt. Put it back where it goes. Oh the pain. ¿Dónde viene usted? Este es el 2, ¿verdad? Sí, es el 2. I'm gonna try to show off for the camera, but you can actually see my piece of skin right there. Okay. See, listen. See. No, you know, like that's it. Por acá. Por acá. Por acá. Ya me dijo. Mi pedazo, mi piel. Híjole. So these things are sharp. They hurt like heck. Ah. Imagino que te arde, ¿no? Sí. Okay, so now the only thing that we need is to remove the rock, the crankshaft bearings, which would be these. And so in the case of the Mercosur 3.0, it has one, two, three, four, five. And just like the piston, you can mix and match. Make sure that they go where they're supposed to go. Um, it's a little bit harder for you to miss them, but these do. They are, these are numbered, and so they go where you took them off. And so aside from putting them where they're supposed to, you can't flip it. So it has to go the way that it goes in. And so this one's straightforward. This one really is, unlike the rock bearings. So, yeah. <laughs>